something pretty big was gonna happen here. Sure, it's a great movie, but we only want to know one thing. Who's behind that mask? People have to be told. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 face reveals in movies. I'm being scared from the start. None of this would have happened. For this list, we're looking at movie scenes where a mysterious character finally unveils his or her face. Perhaps they're hiding in the dark, maybe they're wearing a mask, or maybe they're just really, really shy. You're neither. You're an errand boy. Either way, we want to know what they really look like. However, we're skipping scenes like this one from Gladiator. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius, commander of the armies of the North, general of the Felix Legions, loyal servant to the true emperor, Marcus Aurelius. Sure, it's awesome, but while Commodus is surprised, the audience already knows what Maximus looks like. A heads up, there are some major spoilers ahead, so spoiler alert. Do it! Number 10, will the real Jigsaw please stand up? Saw. Hello, Amanda. You don't know me, but I know you. I want to play a game. The horror genre is jam-packed with memorable face reveals, like this big bloody twist at the end of Saw. In this splatter film spectacle, a murderer called the Jigsaw Killer is putting his victims into the nastiest traps imaginable, but we never get a good look at his face. Pay no attention to that comatose cancer patient. When there's that much poison in your blood, the only thing left to do is shoot yourself. Throughout the film, we see Jigsaw's handiwork, people mention his name, and we're pretty sure he's the guy in the pig mask. That is, until that dead guy picks himself up off the floor. Number nine, Blofeld revealed, you only live twice. We coordinate with target vehicle. James Bond has some pretty unforgettable foes, but 007's number one enemy is definitely Ernst Stavro Blofeld. You made a mistake, my friend. No astronaut would enter the capsule carrying his air conditioner. Remove his helmet. As head of Spectre, Blofeld has shown up in six films played by six different actors. But while he's Bond's biggest baddie, Blofeld remained hidden for his first two films. And it wasn't until You Only Live Twice that the cat-loving villain finally showed his face. James Bond, allow me to introduce myself. I am Ernst Stavro Blofeld. Actor Donald Pleasance actually came up with that grotesque scar after passing on a hump, a beard, and on a lame hand. Nice choice. You only live twice, Mr. Bond. Number eight, here's Jason. Friday the 13th, part three. Mother is talking to you. After sporting a sack in the sequel, Jason Voorhees changed his look for part three by donning his now trademark hockey mask. In the third entry, it's business as usual as the faceless Jason murders a bunch of teenagers only in 3D. In the film's gory showdown, heroine Chris Higgins knocks Jason out with a shovel and tries to hang him high. Only, Jason isn't quite dead and decides to show off his ugly mug. Now, that's a face only a psychopathic murdering mom could love. <laughs> Number seven, taking off the hood. South Park, bigger, longer, and uncut. Kenny, come on! Hello. Even though Kenny McCormick is one of South Park's most famous characters, we never actually see his whole face. Well, not until the movie, anyway. I'll bet you $100 you can't light a fart on fire. <laughs> after dying once again, Kenny ends up in hell. But after giving Satan some relationship advice, he's able to wish away a war between Canada and America. But in doing so, he damns himself to eternal torment. Before he returns to hell, Kenny gives fans a long-awaited look at the boy behind the hood. Goodbye, you guys. Don't worry, he always comes back eventually. Number six, Vader Unmasked. Star Wars Episode Six: Return of the Jedi. Luke, help me take this mask off. 
The cape is cool, and the lightsaber, clearly awesome. But people always remember the mask. It gave Darth Vader his robotic breath and made him sound like James Earl Jones. The Death Star will be completed on schedule. For two movies, the deep space supervillain kept his face hidden, but we finally got a good look in Return of the Jedi. After sticking it to the Emperor, Vader asks Luke to remove his helmet, revealing an injured old man. Let me look on you with my own eyes. Without the mask, Luke sees his father's true face, and Vader finally becomes more than a machine. Number five, one ugly mother, Predator. Make a stand now, or there would be nobody left to go to the chopper. Here's a sci-fi slasher complete with an uber creepy mask. A big game hunter from outer space, the Predator winds up in Central America, stalking a gang of gun-toting commandos led by Alan Dutch Schaefer. For most of the movie, the alien is nearly invisible. <laughs> but when the mercenaries get a glimpse, he's sporting a slick hunting mask, complete with thermal imaging. But several dead bodies later, the Predator challenges Dutch to hand-to-hand -hand combat and finally removes his mask, revealing the scariest pair of mandibles you've probably ever seen. You're one ugly mother <laughs> Number four, meeting Miss Bates, Psycho. He was always bad, and in the end he intended to tell them I killed those girls. She isn't Mother of the Year material, but Norma Bates can certainly scare an audience. That's especially impressive as she's hidden for most of the film. We hear her voice, see her silhouette, and did she just kill the main character? But it isn't until the twisty climax that we see Mother's true face. Alfred Hitchcock tested different versions of the Mrs. Bates prop by hiding them in Janet Leigh's dressing room. The louder the scream, the scarier the prop. We think she probably shattered some windows. <laughs> Number three, whatever doesn't kill you, the Dark Knight. Aha, ha, ooh, he, ha, ha, ha. If you want to be a supervillain, then you need some awesome face reveal, like this scene in 1989's Batman. You can call me Joker. And as you can see, I'm a lot happier. But while Jack's appearance was terrifying, it takes second place to Heath Ledger's reveal in The Dark Knight. What happened to the rest of the guys? After Batman Begins, audiences spent years waiting for the clown prince of crime to return. I'll look into it. If that wasn't enough suspense, we learned the Joker is a pretty scary looking guy in the opening bank heist. I believe whatever doesn't kill you simply makes you a stranger. Sure, he had competition from Two-Face, but the Joker stole the show when he took off his mask. Why so serious? Number two, not an animal, the Elephant Man. With David Lynch directing and Mel Brooks producing, you wouldn't expect a poignant character study, but the Elephant Man certainly tugs at your heartstrings. He is English, he is 21 years of age, his name is John Merrick. The film follows a deformed freak show performer named John Merrick, who becomes a Victorian celebrity. Lynch keeps Merrick's face a secret at first, but when a nurse stumbles into his hospital room, we get a straight on shot of the Elephant Man. <laughs> But even though he's a hideous sight, Merrick is no made-up movie monster. He's a real person and a human being. I am not an elephant! I am not an animal! I am a human being! Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. 
Step out in the light and let's have a look at you. Who's your boss? You're some dead, no one. What's this in Dallas? Tell us what's holding you up, Dan. Sounds like a You can go slow ahead. Come on down and chump some of this shit. Number one, the man behind the mask, the Phantom of the Opera. Before Gerard Butler charmed his way into the Paris Opera House, Lon Chaney was frightening audiences with his freaky face reveal. After kidnapping his crush and hiding her in his subterranean lair, the Phantom lays down some ground rules, namely, don't mess with the mask. But Christine doesn't listen, and the result was so scary that moviegoers in 1925 allegedly fainted. Known as the Man of a Thousand Faces, Chaney used some crazy tricks to make that horrifying face, including holding his nose back with wire. Ow, talk about dedication. agree with our list? What do you think is the best face reveal in film? I want my phone call. For more incredible top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.